Hello everyone and welcome to the 2020 AWE Awards. I'm Carrie Dahl and I am so thrilled to be your MC for this special evening that is honoring female entrepreneurs. You know, the entrepreneurial journey is a challenging one and one that I'm very familiar with. After a 20 year career as a television news journalist, I started my own consulting firm. I wrote my own public speaking course. I do a lot of media training and I work with countless clients to help them improve their storytelling skills to benefit their business. I also started my own podcast called The Inner Circle with Carrie Dahl. So I am so thrilled to be part of this evening because as a female entrepreneur, I have a strong appreciation for what Alberta Women Entrepreneurs does. AWE's mission is to enable women to build successful businesses through unique programs and services. Whether you're at the idea stage or you are well established and ready to take your business to the next level, AWE is there to help you every step of the way. Now, speaking of which, we want to connect with you tonight and hear from you. So please feel free to connect with us throughout the evening. We welcome your comments and your feedback, and we look forward to hearing from you. Now, on with the program. And to start things off, I am so pleased to introduce an outstanding female business leader. Please join me in welcoming AWE's CEO, Marcella Mandeville. Thank you for the introduction, Carrie, and thank you to all of you for joining us tonight virtually. I'm excited to get this evening started. I'd like to begin by acknowledging that I am on Treaty 6 territory, traditional home to many Indigenous peoples, including Cree, Salto, Nisitapi, Blackfoot, Métis, and Nakota Sioux. The reason we're here today is to celebrate and recognize incredible women entrepreneurs women who have done amazing things in their businesses and in their communities. But more than that, the celebration is bigger. It's more than acknowledging our finalists and our recipients. It's to celebrate all of the women entrepreneurs in our amazing province. Today, we see the importance of a community that has shown incredible resiliency, innovation, and leadership, especially as we face these challenging times. To say that these last few months have been challenging would be an understatement. However, it has been incredible to see the way women entrepreneurs have pivoted their businesses to step up for their staff, to step up for their communities. I remain in awe of the creativity, the passion, and the leadership that women entrepreneurs have displayed. And in light of everything that's happening in the world, it's important for us to recognize and to celebrate the accomplishments of entrepreneurs in our province. Although we're living in a time of rapid change, and great uncertainty, one thing remains the same. AWE is here to support women entrepreneurs. Since 1995, we have been providing tools and resources to help women at all stages of business across our province. Every year, I look forward to the AWE Awards. It's a time for us to reflect on the journey and celebrate how far we've come. Given that this year marks AWE's 25th anniversary, there's certainly a lot to celebrate. This year, we had a record number of 242 women nominated for our awards. That is a testament to the amazing things that women entrepreneurs are doing in our community and a clear sign of growing recognition of those accomplishments and those contributions. The AWE Awards were first created to shed light on the amazing stories that were being untold and uncelebrated. Who are these women we are celebrating today? This year, they are women from all across the province and a variety of industries. They are inspirational leaders for women in business and our community. Role models, innovators, and they have broken barriers and were brave enough to expand into new markets and explore new opportunities. Our communities and our economies are stronger when women are full participants in entrepreneurship. Each of these women has had an impact on their community and on Alberta's economy. The next generation of entrepreneurs will shape our communities in the future. And this year's finalists are paving the way for them to do exactly that. I'm very excited for you to meet them and hear their stories. The work that we are doing would not be possible without the support of our funder. I'd like to invite Western Economic Diversification to say a few words. Good evening and welcome to the 2020 Virtual Alberta Women Entrepreneurs Award. 
I'm excited to join you tonight and to recognize the outstanding women business leaders in Alberta and to celebrate AWE's 25th anniversary. The number of nominations show just how much women have achieved in Alberta. Your leadership and resilience during the COVID-19 pandemic is truly inspiring. So many of you have helped to keep your community stay safe. And I've heard how many Alberta businesses have pivoted during this challenging time. Some examples are last year's award winner, Karina Birch of Rocky Mountain Soap Company, who started making hand sanitizer and clothing manufacturers like Claire Thieker Brown's Unbelt, who started making masks and uh, many more businesses that moved their services online, like Evelyn Aka of Aka Business Immigration Law. These changes have not been easy for small businesses. We understand that, but the value they have provided to keep our communities safe is huge. Your work and your success is paving the way for the next generation of women business leaders, and you have so much to be proud of. As you have heard, government has a bold, ambitious goal of doubling the number of women-owned firms across Canada by 2025. We recognize that helping more women become entrepreneurs is both the right thing to do for our society and the smart thing to do for our economy. Western Economic Diversification Canada is proud to help women entrepreneurs like you through the support of AWE. Congratulations to all the nominees for tonight's awards and enjoy your evening. Thank you, Western Economic Diversification Canada, and thank you, Marcella. We appreciate the time and dedication that you and your team put into making this awards ceremony a reality and honoring the work of so many women entrepreneurs. I'd also like to extend a gracious thank you to the presenting sponsor of the 2020 AWE Awards, ATB. ATB Financial is a proud supporter of women entrepreneurs in the community and we are so grateful for their support. I'd now like to take a moment and welcome Heather Lestuka to say a few words on behalf of ATB. Alberta is getting back to work and businesses have questions. How do we look after our people and the business? In what ways have my customers' needs changed? How do we manage our new financial situation? And how will this new reality affect our sales? ATB was built to tackle questions like these. ATB was built to help Albertans. Visit atb.com. Good evening. Welcome to the 2020 Alberta Woman Entrepreneur Awards. It's a special moment of encouragement amongst so many challenges today. Thank you for joining this standout event in a standout year. A year to remember, not only for disruption, but also innovation. A year of obstacles and overcoming. And most of all, a year for the spirit of this year's nominees and winners to shine. I'm honored on behalf of ATB Financial to acknowledge you, our inspirational Alberta women business leaders, and celebrate your courageous stories and achievements. My name is Heather Lestuka, Vice President of Business Adaptation and Strategic Markets. Our team has the privilege of being at the front of change, navigating ambiguity and helping to create opportunity within it. Adaptation helps ATB Business look ahead to the horizon and proactively adjust so that we can meet the needs of our customers. Our strategic markets team works with both women business owners and Indigenous businesses and communities as they pursue livelihoods and legacies. In these unprecedented times, we have flexed right alongside our customers as they moved from in-house dining to curbside pickup even before the province was shuttered or adapted their operations from on location to working from anywhere literally overnight. You have created new product lines midstream from distilling gin to making hand sanitizer. Women and business owners have led the way creating calm for their employees even as they themselves faced uncertainty and fostering empathy and courage, even as their communities entered fear. ATB has over 80 years of seeing Alberta through her seasons, her ups and her downs. 
there has been a lot of variation of crisis, booms, recovery, and triumph. At ATB, our focus is Albertans. Our purpose is to make it possible here in Alberta and beyond. Turning what if into when. By partnering with women entrepreneurs, we see women turning dreams into reality and in turn fueling their families, their communities, and the economy every day across sectors and scale. We are proud to be part of the journey with Alberta women in pursuit of their legacy, from sole proprietor to inventor, from artist to farmer, from community bakery to green, clean energy companies, restaurateur to national, multinational companies. Women entrepreneurs are leaders. The stories you will hear tonight are those of leaders, not just in their business community, but also leading the way for a new generation, creating opportunity for themselves, but for their families and their neighborhoods too. Life as a woman entrepreneur is all encompassing. It's research at 10 p.m. in front of the TV and missing coffee with friends to make an important pitch. It's adapting to the environment, yet staying true to what got you started in the first place. It's running payroll off your phone in a doctor's office and brilliant, I mean really brilliant, ideas in the shower. Bottom line, it's all in, all the time. Entrepreneurship is a symphony of freedom and sacrifice, empowerment and mistakes, risks and ultimately rewards. Tonight, through our seven-year partnership with Alberta Women Entrepreneurs, we honor women that are showing us how they conduct it all into beautiful music. So let's raise our glasses to the women entrepreneurs of Alberta, making it possible and inspiring those around them by their grit, their grace, their passion in their journey. On behalf of ATB, thank you for being with us tonight and congratulations to all of the nominees, finalists, and winners. Thank you, Heather, and thank you to ATB. We so appreciate your continued support of AWE and women entrepreneurs in Alberta. You know, this year's award celebration is so special given that it is AWE's 25th year supporting female entrepreneurs in our province. So to mark this occasion, AWE asked female entrepreneurs and entrepreneurial supporters to share their experiences and to let us know what they thought the future holds. Here's a look at what they had to say. As I reflect on the past 25 years, it is incredible to see the impact that access to capital and access to connections has made for women-owned businesses in our province. We know that our communities and our economies are stronger when women are full participants in entrepreneurship. At AWE, our goal is to achieve parity for women in entrepreneurship and to unlock the significant economic benefit for Canada. The talent, the leadership, and the passion of women entrepreneurs in our province is outstanding. We've come so far in the last 25 years. I'd like to congratulate all of the women who've taken the leap into entrepreneurship. We are so proud to support you on this journey and we look forward to seeing what the future will bring. What I love about being an entrepreneur is challenging the way things are, seeing a better way and making it happen. For me, being an entrepreneur was about um, flexibility and freedom, but it's very empowering to know that I'm helping lift other women as well and train them. I love the creative control that I have over my work. I love solving big problems that matter to people. I love to have the freedom to explore new amazing solutions. What I love most about being an entrepreneur is to be able to live every day in my passion. The ability to control my own destiny, to be able to have a dream and a goal and go out and achieve it. That's remarkable. It would have to be connecting with all the other incredible business women here in Edmonton. Uh, so many amazing women that are taking risks and taking chances and letting their creative ideas uh, unfold in really beautiful ways. 
I love it because there's always new challenges and learning involved. I love the fact that I can build something from scratch. There is nothing more powerful than creating an idea and then seeing it to fruition. What I love the most is the freedom that being an entrepreneur allows me. The amount of creative and talented people I get to work with and the community it's fostered. What I love about being an entrepreneur is to be able to create something that the community loves and in return, I can support the community. My biggest advice for uh, fellow entrepreneurs um, is to never give up on your dreams. If you fall down 10 times, um, get up, stand up and move on. Those are not 10 failures, they are 10 challenges. You have to be willing and ready to work hard. Be curious, be inspired by what you don't know yet. Ask great questions and take the time to reflect on your learning. If you believe in your product and you're passionate about it and you never take no for an answer, you will succeed. Just go for it. So don't focus too much on the fine details, but grow, grow smartly and know that you can do it. Self-care, look after yourself, you're important. No matter what, you'll encounter naysayers and no matter what, you'll face challenges. You'll question whether you're good enough, whether you deserve to be successful, whether you deserve to call yourself an entrepreneur. And the answer is, and always will be, yes. Continually ask yourself, what makes me different? How am I owning that? And how can this be of service to others? What does the future hold for women entrepreneurs? All around me, I see women with bold vision for their companies. It's not about being included. It's not about being allowed to play the game. It's about transforming the game. That's the future. That women entrepreneurs would have access that the systems and how they're designed today will have evolved and that society is set up for their success. Anything you set your mind on. In the last 25 years, we've seen a lot of growth with female entrepreneurs and the businesses they've started. With support, women are feeling more confident in taking larger risks to scale their business. This will only continue to grow, but at a faster rate than ever before. I believe that the path forward for women entrepreneurs has brightened significantly with all the advances in the technology. Um, it enables them to uh, actually start and grow their businesses from wherever and at any time. Don't ever, ever give up your dream. I've chosen to work in this space for almost 20 years and have seen the enthusiasm and innovation that women entrepreneurs bring to their businesses. I'm thrilled that the work we are doing will support their success now and into the future. Thank you, Alberta. Women entrepreneurs, happy anniversary. Congratulations, AWE, on 25 amazing years. Here's to 25 more. Congratulations on your 25th anniversary. Congratulations, AWE, on your 25 year anniversary. Happy anniversary, AWE, and thank you for pioneering a way for women in Alberta over the past 25 years. To AWE, congratulations on 25 years for all the success you have brought women in the past and will continue to do in the future. Thank you. Now for the main event of the evening, the awards portion of the program. It is now my pleasure to welcome Shashi Bell, the outgoing board chair, to present the first award of the evening, the Emerging Entrepreneur Award. Thank you, Carrie. It has been an honor and a privilege for me to serve as board chair for AWE this past year. And I'm excited to be here to present the Emerging Entrepreneur Award. This award is near and dear to my heart because it showcases the future of the game changers in Alberta. The finalists in this category are the epitome of growth and really show what combining passion and hard work can achieve. They've each built scalable businesses and have a strong foundation and have achieved early success with strong market potential. Here are our three finalists. My name is Monica Tofik. I own Performance Auto Calgary. I do vehicle government safety inspections and we do sales and servicing and also repairs. My dad is a mechanical and civil engineer. So growing up with two brothers and my dad, I was always interested in cars and they were fixing cars and I wanted a side business and then I just ended up falling in love with the automotive business. 
It was definitely very hard being a female in this male-dominated industry. I had had to overcome a lot of sexism, threats, discrimination. Um, being competition to them in this industry was not something that was appreciated or welcomed. When someone puts me down, I just put myself back up five times more. The Emerging Entrepreneurship Award means that I've successfully accomplished what I wanted to do. I hear it from my family and friends. I have a lot of support and they're proud of me, but to be recognized all over Alberta uh, is truly an honor. And it just makes me want to push myself even more to continue to grow the business and become even more successful. My name is Christina Botello. I uh, started KB and Company, and it is a plant-based cafe. Well, I've been an entrepreneur for uh, 20 years, and uh, plant-based diet is, I've been following for about 10 years. And for me, it was just about starting starting something niche, getting creative, making a move, making a change. Balance has been tough for me over the last uh, four years, for sure. I find that I just take it day to day. So rather than planning out the time that I'm gonna have with say my children or my friends or family, I just sort of, you know, try to find um, time throughout the day to make those connections with family and friends and try not to expect too much. So it's, for me, it's a day to day process. I would love to take KB & Co across Canada and um, eventually release a, a cookbook or two and um, work with schools. I'd love to um, you know, roll out a, a school lunch program for youth and, and children. My name is Alicia Gosling and I am o the owner of the Langdon Firehouse Bar & Grill. It's a, it's a bar slash pub, live music venue, uh, bike destination zone on one side and on the other side it's a family friend, friendly restaurant. I've just always had it in me. I've always had it in me. My, both my parents have always been entrepreneurs. I'm, it's, just, it's just who I am. I love a challenge. I've always loved a challenge. The journey, um, getting it to where it is now, was a little rough in the beginning. Uh, it, Langdon is a very small community. It's just been, you know, hard, hard work. You know, we're not uh, owners that just own the place. We're both in there working seven days a week. That is what it has taken to get us to this point that we are so successful three years later. If you want to become an entrepreneur, you have to not be afraid to take the risk. You have to not be afraid what other people are gonna think. You have to go with your gut and, and go for it. Like, I don't know how many times I wouldn't be where I am now if I would have been like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, that's not a good idea, but then I went for it anyways. Wow, those are some inspiring and committed people. And now for the moment that we've all been waiting for, the winner of the Emerging Entrepreneur is Christina Botello of KB and Company. In 2016, Christina Botello opened up her first casual plant-based cafe in Edmonton after experiencing the health benefits of a plant-based diet. She studied in her previous experience was in the restaurant industry and she studied nutrition as well as obtained a certificate as a raw food chef. A year and a half later, she expanded into another location in Southwest Edmonton and since then has continued to grow this concept into St. Albert, Calgary and Kelowna. Congratulations and join me in hearing a few words from Christina. Hey guys, it's me KB popping on here to thank you guys so much for this award. I am shaking right now. I am in shock. I am so so grateful and feeling so incredibly blessed. Um, this wouldn't have been possible without all of your guys' support over the past four and a half years. Um, the support of my team, every team member in all stores, and of course the support of my franchise partners who have helped me along with this journey. And your guys' support over the last six months, as you guys know, it's been um, a roller coaster for everybody. Um, including the the other entrepreneurs who were nominated. So I'm, I mean, I'm I share this with all of those who were nominated because I know the struggle, I know the pain, I know the heartache, I know um, what you guys have been going through, and um, <laughs> I, I'm just so grateful to be chosen, and um, can't wait to to do big things and to keep going. And I want to thank you guys so much. Thank you. 
Congratulations, Christina. You have impacted our health and wellness so much with your beautiful plant-based cafes. We do appreciate you and thank you as well, Shashi. Our next award is the Upsurge Entrepreneur Award. And for those honors, I would like to invite Jewel Buxa, incoming AWE board chair to do the honors. Thank you, Carrie. The Upsurge Entrepreneur Award recognizes a woman entrepreneur who has built a solid foundation for her business and in recent years has been experiencing rapid growth. Through her vision, drive and leadership, she has great expansion opportunities. Let's hear from the 2020 finalists. Well, my name is Courtney Bueller and I am the CEO and founder of Sugar Lash Pro. We train professional lash artists how to do the services and then we provide professional product to accompany it. The growth of Sugar Lash Pro has been really, really crazy. And if you told me as a teenager I'd be running a $15 million company as the CEO, I, I still don't believe it, honestly, that I'm in the position that I'm in. Yes, there has been stress and yes, there has been, you know, sleep lost and all of those things, but there's been the biggest wins and the biggest joys and the biggest fulfillment that I've also ever experienced in my life. Sugar Lash Pro at the heart of it is empowering other women in order to take financial freedom of their life and their time. There's so many stories of just like lives changed and that's really what drives us at the end of the day. When we are recognized and when people take the time to say well done or we see you, I reflect that back to my team and it's like we did this, you got us here, I'm nothing without you guys. And um, really, yeah, any awards that we do win or those things, it's really just for the team. So my name is Alethea Austin and my business is Achieve Wellness Spa. So Achieve Wellness Spas are award-winning luxury medical day spas. I was a physical therapist by trade and I saw a broken model. Wellness didn't have to be sterile and clinical. I wanted luxury and actually taking a look at the person as a whole, offering a multitude of services. You have to be a little bit crazy to be a successful entrepreneur. You have to put up with the long hours, the hard work. So you have to be loving what you're doing. You have to be passionate about it. When you're growing your business, you have to grow strategically, not just growing for growth's sake. And with growth, there's always new challenges, so you have to expand your own knowledge, your ability to lead. I'm happy, I'm ecstatic. Uh, I don't do this for awards, but it's nice to get recognized. And as I was coming up the trenches of an entrepreneur, I had a lot of amazing women help me out. And I hope one day that I can do that for other women. I'm Justine Barber. I'm Kendall Barber. And our business is Poppy Barley, and Poppy Barley is a Canadian brand rethinking the footwear industry. We ethically craft shoes that are both comfortable, polished, and fashionable. When we first started Poppy Barley, our focus was really on fit and creating a better shoe. And over time, we still want to create a shoe that is comfortable and fit is a piece of that comfort. But really, the main goal with the business has changed as we think a lot more about the impact that it's having and the legacy that it's having. I spend more time thinking about that than growth or hitting the next targets, but how do we create a more sustainable shoe? How do we give back to our communities? How do we create more of a life for ourselves and our team that we're really excited about? And like that's the space that we're really in right now is if it's about rethinking the footwear industry, then how do we do that on a, on a broader scale? It has to be a better overall product. Alberta has the highest rates of female entrepreneurship in the country. So you know that if you're dominated for an award in Alberta, you're in great company. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're really honored, thrilled and excited. Wow, we've got some really talented women in this category. Well, it's my pleasure now to present the 2020 award for Upsurge entrepreneur to Kendall and Justine Barber. Kendall and Justine are co-founders of Poppy Barley, a company that's rethinking the footwear industry every step of the way. Partnering with family-owned factories in Mexico and Brazil, they ethically craft polished foundational footwear and chic functional accessories, selling them at fair prices and donating 1% of sales back to our communities. Congratulations, Kendall and Justine. Now, I'd like to turn it over to you to say a few words. 
<laughs> Thank you so much. Um, we want to start by recognizing the two other finalists that were in this category with us, Alethea and Courtney. We have great respect for both you as entrepreneurs and the businesses that you've built. Um, in Alberta here, we have the highest percentage of female entrepreneurs than any other province in Canada. And we think that is largely due to the fact that we have organizations like Alberta Women Entrepreneurs and ATB Financial that have supported the dreams of so many female entrepreneurs, including both of us. So thank you, AWUE, and thank you, ATB. For us, entrepreneurship has been like a seven year roller coaster. Um, there's been a lot of up and downs and probably never more so than a global pandemic. But I think when it comes down to it, our biggest wish at the end is going to be that we get to do it all again. Um, it's been a lot of fun along the way. I think we've grown both so much personally and we just connected with amazing people through our customer base. We've always felt so much support in Alberta here, um, our manufacturing partners and then our like really gritty, creative and hardworking team. Yeah, so thank you so much. This means a lot to us and um, yeah, thank you. This is so exciting. Thank you, Kendall. Thank you, Justine. So much respect for both of you, for your business and your entrepreneurial journey. And of course, for the impact you have had on so many communities in Edmonton and way beyond. Thank you as well to Jewel for that beautiful presentation. I now have the pleasure of welcoming Marcella back to introduce the Indigenous Entrepreneur Award. Thank you, Carrie. This was a new award category that we introduced this year to recognize a leading Indigenous woman entrepreneur. The women in this category have built strong businesses and demonstrate plans for future growth, long-term business viability, and commitment to the community. Let's hear from our three finalists. So my name is Crystal Lucier. I own Preferred Tax Solutions. We often find that small business owners are the ones that are neglected. And so not a lot of time typically is spent having conversations with those business owners and trying to educate them. So a lot of the focus out of my office is education. Community for me is about creating a place where you want to reside. So if you're creating a wonderful, comfortable, inclusive environment, that's what I want to live in. I'm also super passionate about Indigenous community and female entrepreneurs because I'm an Indigenous female entrepreneur. Um, and you don't get a lot of encouragement. It's not a clear path to be an entrepreneur. People don't say, oh, you're an Indigenous woman, you should be a business owner. Um, so it's about creating the world that you want to live in, right? Creating opportunities for people that you didn't have and putting into the community what you want to get out of it. My name is Clay Carrington. My business is called Absolute Combustion International. And what we do is design uh, clean technology that has applications in the aviation, recycling, and oil and gas space. I actually haven't met another woman uh, in combustion in the time I've been in it. So I started in about 2005. The thing that I found a bit difficult was when you'd, you'd look for a mentor or you'd look for someone to aspire to, I never had anyone that looked like me. So I, I'm Indigenous on both my mother and my father's side, and then on my father's side I also have uh, like African American, and so being more of like a visible minority, it, and then being a woman and then being young, it always kind of feels like you have a couple boxes checked against you. So it's like you're constantly trying to overcome these interesting preconceived notions about you when people don't actually know you, they just visually see you and go, ah, oh, she's probably not that competent or that capable. Being nominated for this category for Alberta Women's Entrepreneurs it just feels like such an honor because what I hope that of other young girls that look like me or see me go, okay, she could do it, then I wanna try and do that too. My name is Nicole Matos and I am the CEO and founder of Rivet Management, a design and construction company and we specialize in commercial tenant improvements. So some of the things I'm passionate about is that it's really important to have work-life balance. Do your best at being with your family and doing your best for yourself. So I wanna to try to set a new standard and especially in construction, that is not something you hear about. You know, it's usually burnout, working super long hours all the time and I don't think it needs to be that. I was so excited to be considered 
uh, a finalist, especially in the category of Indigenous businesswoman. I am Métis and I've got a line of really successful Métis women in my family actually, so I'm actually very blessed. I'm excited to show that there's not only one picture of what Indigenous looks like and setting those examples and showing some representation of success so that other people coming up behind us can have that to strive for as well. I feel so inspired by these women. What incredible stories. And now I am pleased to announce that the recipient of this year's Indigenous Entrepreneur Award is Kalea Carrington of Absolute Combustion. As the co-founder and CEO of Absolute Combustion, Kalea Carrington has spent a decade successfully designing and developing groundbreaking clean tech solutions for multiple industries, including aerospace and oil and gas. She is a driving force in Alberta's blockchain industry as the executive director of the Alberta Blockchain Consortium and co-founder and board member of the Canadian Blockchain Association for Women. Kalea strongly believes that uniting diverse voices behind a common goal is a path to creating a fairer, more sustainable and prosperous Alberta. Congratulations. I'd like to invite Kalea to say a few words. Thank you, AWE, for including me among the absolutely incredible list of finalists here. Every single woman uh, that's a finalist absolutely deserves this award. I am just, I'm so shocked and honored that it's me. Um, I really appreciate uh, winning in the category for Indigenous Entrepreneur ever since I was a little girl, our uh, Indigenous culture has been very important and also um, very instrumental in helping guide and transform uh, absolute combustion as it is today. So I hope that every young girl watching this knows that no matter what, you can do it, you can be successful, you can be a woman in STEM. And I just, again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. This is such an honor. Congratulations, Kalea, and to all our award recipients tonight. You are having such an impact on business in our communities and right across our province. We appreciate your hard work and your dedication. We are now going to move on to some big honors for the evening, the Celebration of Achievement Award. And for that, we're going to invite back Heather Lestuka from ATB Financial to present the honors. Again, welcome everyone to this year's Alberta Women Entrepreneur Award Celebration. Congratulations to all of this year's finalists and award recipients so far. Your stories have been truly inspiring. Here at ATB Business, I have the privilege of working with our women and Indigenous business customers. Our team journeys with them from their beginnings through their milestones. We partner with them through the challenges that they face in overcoming bias, or deploying their unique value in their market. Through my personal journey as an entrepreneur and in partnership with these Alberta women through ATB Financial, I know firsthand the demands that these women navigate and appreciate all the more the achievements of tonight's nominees. Let's turn our attention to the big winner of the night, the Celebration of Achievement Award winners, Karen Ryan and Lara Murphy, co-founders, co-owners of Ryan Murphy Construction. Since 2012, Alberta Women Entrepreneurs has awarded an exceptional woman entrepreneur the Celebration of Achievement Award. This award pays tribute to a woman who has built a business in Alberta with significant impact on the economy and the community. In tonight's award, that would be two women. When Lara and Karen met on a Banff construction site in 2008, they turned their shared experiences and ideas into a strategic plan and a vision on which Ryan Murphy Construction was founded. The vision is simple but unique. Ryan Murphy Construction is highly approachable, transparent, and responsive. Eliminating the assumption that everyone knows how to build, they opt to educate their clients throughout the construction process, an innovative model. They've been described as not only creating a niche, in fact, they are the niche. Let's take a minute now to hear from Ryan Murphy Construction. Our business is Ryan Murphy Construction. We're general contractors in commercial, residential, and industrial construction. 
I think the journey with Ryan Murphy, it's been one of almost 12 years. So there's been lots of high highs and low lows, like any business owner. But uh, there's definitely days where you're like, this is the best, I've got this. And other days you're like, oh my God, what have I done? And the motivation uh, to start the company was really to do construction differently. You know, growing up, I never knew anyone who does what I do. Being a part of organizations like the Boys and Girls Club, Girl Guides, Brownies, Fast and Female. Karen and I have been able to really give back and give that inspiration to young women in particular to let them look at, tr at different careers that aren't necessarily traditional. And I know that I never had that. For us to be able to do that and have an impact on a little girl's life is, is humongous. And when they come up to you at the end of teaching them how to use a drill, they tell you they want to be like you, it, it feels great and hopefully it has an impact to continue for those generations to come. If you see it, you can be it. Success to me looks like, you know, when our clients uh, give us referrals. Um, at the end of the day, when we're finished the project, you know, they're sad to see us go. Someone gives me the keys to their house and so we can get the work done and there's that trust there. That to me is success. It's probably one of the best choices I've made in life is to start working for these guys. They have a different look on the business and it's how they, I really like how they treat people. They, they live by like kind of the golden rule, treat um, others the way you want to be treated. It's a team mentality rather than I'm the boss and you're working for me. It's, you know what, we're working all together because we can't do it without each piece of the puzzle, right? Lots of people can be successful in terms of growing a business, but not lots of people can do that with the integrity and honesty and kindness and grace that they do it with. I think that it's one thing to grow a business, it's another thing to do it with those values and um, to exhibit that in their being and then in their entire corporation. They're pretty great. They're great. <laughs> I don't know many people who like no. could cry talking about their contractors, but yeah. that's us. <laughs> yeah, that's us. <laughs> Success for me is honestly having the courage and determination to be the person that you think you can be. The willpower every day to go out of your way and maybe get a little bit outside of your comfort zone and continue to learn and grow, but really to have that belief in yourself that you can do things that maybe you weren't necessarily predetermined to do or thought you could accomplish. So really to me, it's being courageous. The women who have been awarded the Celebration of Achievement Award are role models and leaders. And Karen and Lara clearly exemplify these traits. Karen and Lara, your partnership and your leadership in your sector exemplifies exactly what this Achievement Award is meant to be. Congratulations on winning the Celebration of Achievement Award. Hi everyone. Thank you to the AWE organization and congratulations to all the finalists. We definitely wouldn't be where we are without the support of our family and friends, our wonderful team, the trades, the consultants, and the clients that we get to do amazing projects with every day. Yes, thank you. Karen and I are honored to accept this award and today also marks our 12 year anniversary in business. So we have a couple of different reasons to celebrate, hence the balloons. But thank you so much. Although this year is very different and we're not able to be in the same room together, we hope that young and old people can tune in and have the opportunity to be inspired by so many of you wonderful people that are out there today working hard putting our heads down and being an entrepreneur is not always easy. There's no path put forward for us. We all make our own path and that takes bravery and courage. And I think we need to take the time to celebrate, lift one another up and continue to give back to our community so we can bring Alberta back to being the forefront of entrepreneurialism and business in our country. And we're just so thrilled and honored. Believe me, when I get to see all of you in a room, I'll be giving you all hugs because we're just so thrilled. And really it's a, a great honor and we're so thankful to be part of tonight's festivities. So thank you again and congrats. Keep up the good work and cheers to all of you. Thank you. 
I now want to take another moment and congratulate all of our award recipients. You all have worked so hard and you are so deserving of this recognition. I also want to take a moment and thank all of you this evening who joined us from your homes for the 2020 AWE Awards. I hope you enjoyed and I'm sure that you are inspired by the brilliant work of women entrepreneurs across our province. I also want to extend my gratitude to AWE for having me as their MC and host of this year's awards program. It's been such an honor for me to be involved in something that is so important to me. I really love celebrating the work and the success of countless women and what they are experiencing in their entrepreneurial journeys. It's amazing what can happen when you dare to dream. I now want to invite AWE CEO Marcella Mandeville back to say a few words and to close out tonight's celebration. What a wonderful evening. It has been a pleasure to watch these businesses succeed and I look forward to seeing what the future holds for these outstanding women. AWE is proud to recognize these women entrepreneurs for their achievements and we know that they will continue to build their communities. Thank you to everyone who joined to celebrate with us tonight. I'd like to once again thank Carrie Dahl for being our MC. Thank you to our presenting sponsor, ATB, for your continued support of AWE and of this event, and to KBH Chartered Professional Accountants. I would also like to take this time to thank AWE staff and our volunteer board of directors for their hard work and dedication to supporting women entrepreneurs. And finally, thank you to all of you. Without you, this event would not be possible. The mission that AWE stands for can only be achieved with your help. We are thankful for your support for women and for our community as a whole. Once again, congratulations to all of our finalists and recipients. Have a good night.